Hey, really happy to have Whitney Rosenbaum here with Pinnacle Point Outpatient. She is here for Therapeutic Thursday to talk about an exciting new integrated care pilot program they've got going on in Benton. The goal is to improve mental health outcomes for children. Whitney, welcome. Good to see you. Yeah, thanks for having me. Well, let's talk about what integrated care means. So integrated care is where primary care kind of intersects with behavioral health care. And so instead of just looking at those presenting issues, behavioral issues, symptoms of mental illness, we look at the whole child. And so we're using a child-centered approach in our Benton location um, with this new integrated care program to have better outcomes for the kids. Yeah, so help me understand this. So, so previously, you would have either, as a parent, you would have, could go to a primary care physician or you could come to your facility and address some mental health issues, but now you've literally integrated those yes. together so you can so you can sort of get both angles mm -hmm. to, to look at the child's well-being right yeah so our idea is that it would make it more accessible um, to families because we know that these families are getting just kind of passed around the primary care physician different specialists and what we hear is that they're not really getting answers when they do that and so our idea is that we can come together different disciplines in one at one table with all of their opinions and things they've found to really find out what that underlying issue is. So you don't necessarily have to do both. If you want to just see the primary care physician, you can do that. Or if you want to see the mental health pro uh, care provider, you can do that, right? Sure. We fully support autonomy and what the family wants and what they need so they can come in and they can get all the things we offer. So the integrated care with the therapist, medication management, primary care, or they can come in and just get mental health, or if they don't have a primary care provider, they can come in and just see our primary care provider. And, and that is truly unique. It sounds like it shouldn't be truly unique, but it's, it's a wonderful program that, that you're starting, and, and I hope that it'll spread beyond Benton when you, uh, as we move through time here. Let, let's talk a little bit about an example, right? Because we had talked uh, previously before we started rolling here about kids who come in. A lot of them have issues with sleep, nutrition, mm -hmm. or both, right? Yes, almost always. So traditionally, when a client or family come in for services, they would meet with our therapist and they would look at those presenting issues. So if they're struggling with depression, anxiety, or they're having a hard time functioning in the classroom with behavior issues. But now our therapists are digging a little deeper and asking mm -hmm. questions about, you know, what their social life looks like, what their home environment looks like. And so then, after they see our therapist, they can meet with our primary care provider to look at all those p components of health that may be affecting the child. Because a treatment <clears throat> from one, if they're not working collaboratively, might exacerbate a problem that the other, you know, angle again was, was addressing, right? Absolutely. So, for example, a lot of families come to us with um, attention, concentration, hyperactivity, mm -hmm. and may be prescribed a stimulant, which helps those things however but they yeah. may be treated from at their primary care physician for insomnia and not knowing that they're on a stimulant to address these behavior issues but also can't sleep at night and so everybody can come to one table contribute and find you know a treatment plan that's going to truly impact that child yeah and, and I, su I suppose this integrated component works for adults and children but you've really chosen to focus on young people because it, it's something that's sort of fallen through the cracks th over time Yes, so we're focusing on these higher needs kids and mm -hmm. we're trying to avoid them going to a higher level of care and we want to improve, of course, their quality of life and just the outcomes. And so, you know, child-centered approach, looking at that whole child. Yeah, an, an early intervention, I guess, mm -hmm. if you would. So what do you recommend to parents who, who may be seeing some of these things in their kids? Would you recommend coming to the facility and getting analyzed, getting... Yeah, I mean, it never hurts to come in and talk to us and, you know, we can share what we think is going on, maybe do some tests and, um, you know, we communicate back to their primary care physician if they already have a primary care physician and make any referrals that are necessary or set up some resources because a lot of our families that come in, they have a lot of social needs that are being unmet, which we know impacts yeah, a child. no question. Yeah. yeah. Let's talk about how to reach Pinnacle Point Outreach. Yeah, so um, you can go to our Pinnacle Point Hospital website and there's an outpatient tab that has all of our locations. If you're interested in integrated care, you'll want to 
reach out to the Benton location. The Benton location with maybe more to come later on. Whitney, great talking to you. Appreciate yeah, it. Thanks. Thank you for being here on Therapeutic Thursday. We'll come back on uh, with more Channel 7 News right after this. Don't forget our panel, by the way, TT at KATV.com. Your mental health questions are welcome. We address it once a month right here on the program. Be back.